Hi everybody! Welcome to Storytime! This week we are going to read about the garden because it's a good time to start thinking about planting a garden, whether it's flowers or vegetables. Um, and a lot of people are, are doing that right now, so I thought that that might be fun to read about. My name is Lee and I am a librarian at the Community Library. Just so you know, we are open starting next week for limited access. So you can start coming back into the library a little bit. You need to talk to your grown-ups, and we can set up a time for you to come in if you want to get some stuff from the library. We're looking forward to seeing you. It's been a long time. All right, so let's start. And the first book that we are going to read today is called Thank You Garden. And it is written by Liz Garden Scanlon, illustrated by Simone Shin. So she did the pictures and Candlewick Publishers. Garden ready, garden new. Garden so much work to do. Look at them, they're planting and digging. Garden rock and garden water, garden sun, garden daughter. Garden dig and garden play, garden filling up the day. Oh my gosh, they're having fun. Garden bed, garden plot, garden proper, garden knot. Oh my gosh, look at them down here. What are they doing? They're making a mess. <laughs> garden hardly makes a sound, growing slowly underground. Sometimes rainy, sometimes dry. Garden soaking up the sky. Garden path meets garden gate. Garden weight. and wait, and wait. It takes some time for things to grow and you have to be patient. Garden frog and worm and bees. Garden berries, beets, and peas. Garden growing like a child, rosy, leggy, fresh, and wild. Wild in this muddy mess, garden, thank you. Garden, yes. Oh, they get to eat all the good stuff they grew. I see greens and beets and cucumbers and strawberries and peas. Yum. And that's the end. That's kind of a neat book. So there's some things you need to grow seeds. You need your seeds. You need to put them, what do you put the seeds in? What do you bury them in? The dirt? And then you need to give them a drink of water. And then you need the sunshine, don't you? You need the sun to come down and warm them up and wake them up so that they'll grow. All right, so our second book is also from Candlewick Press and it is called Seeds. And it is written by Carme 
Lemniscates. Hopefully I said that person's name right. Look at that. Is that a dandelion it looks like? Those are fun. Those are all seeds. When you blow a dandelion and all the seeds scatter. So here we go. Seeds carry the power of life. So they embark on amazing adventures. Some take off to distant lands. Others wait to be carried to their destiny. Who's carrying the seeds in this picture? Is it the ants? That looks like a pumpkin seed, I think. Look at that underground world. Once they find their place, seeds go through breathtaking transformation. Look at the seed, how it's sprouting, getting bigger and bigger. It was a pumpkin seed, look. Seeds have the power to multiply in number. One pumpkin seed brings dozens of pumpkins. Isn't that neat? From one seed, you get a plant that has lots of pumpkins. A dozen is 12. And each pumpkin brings hundreds of seeds. Do you remember that from carving jack-o'-lanterns when you open up the pumpkin and there's all those seeds inside? Seeds have the power to multiply in size. The tiniest seed in the world sprouts a beautiful orchid. Seeds have the power to grow in difficult places. They can thrive despite all odds. Look at where those seeds are growing in crazy places. When we sow a seed, we take part in this amazing cycle. And sow is another way of saying plant. So they're planting seeds. And we can plant many different kinds of seeds. A smile is a powerful seed. One that can bring joy, and friendship. But there are also seeds that bring anger and misunderstanding. When those seeds grow, they pull us apart. They're not, they're having a misunderstanding, aren't they? Seeds can only bring what they carry. Pumpkin seeds bring pumpkins. Kindness seeds bring kindness. You have lots of seeds and you get to decide which ones to plant and which ones to help grow. Oh, it's so nice that they talked to each other and worked out their differences. Seeds have whole worlds inside of them, just like you. And that is the end. Look at that kitty, the hat blowing. And I like the last page here. Do you see all the things growing? It's like some carrots and things. All right, so that is our second book today. All right, so our third book is called Summer Supper, and it is from Random House, and it's written by Reuben Pfeffer, and the pictures are by Mike Austin. I like this book because 
everything they talk about begins with this letter. What letter is this? It says it's an S. S, S. So listen to the words in this book because every word begins with the letter S. So you'll hear that sound. So look right here on this on the in, on the first page, spinach, squash, spuds, another word for potatoes, strawberries, sunflowers. All right. Shovel, soil, sow, seeds. Sprinkle, sprinkle. What's she sprinkling? The water. Scarecrow, surprise. Snip, snip, snip. Sample, sell. That man is sampling a strawberry. Slice, soak, shuck. When you get the S and the H together, they say sh, sh, not s, s, shuck. And that's peeling corn. Sizzle, swirl, swish, saute. Sprinkle, spice, stir, salad. Sniff, sniff, smell. And this says succotash. Isn't that a good word? That's a, a mixing of vegetables. Succotash. Silence. They're saying thank you for the food. Share, summer, supper. Shimmy, shake, sing. Scrub, save, store. Sleepy snooze. And that's the end of that book. Isn't that fun with all the, oh, it's not, sorry. Shh, snack. He took me by surprise. He snuck down for a snack. I thought when everyone went to sleep, that was the end. Mm, he's having a slice of cake. That is the end. <laughs> All right, so that is our next book. And then our final book is called Up, Down, Around. And this is from Candlewick Press. I have a lot of books from them today. Look at that. See those bugs? What do you see? Snail, caterpillar. I've seen some of these caterpillars on my walks. They're all out. They're really fuzzy. Ants, worms. I think that's kind of a ladybug. All right, so let's read. In the dirt, we'll dig a row, drop some seeds, and watch them grow.
Dirt piles up, seeds go down, water splashes around and around. Corn grows up, carrots grow down. Cucumbers climb around and around. Look at the vine going around his leg. Peppers grow up, potatoes grow down. Pumpkin vines around and around. <laughs> Broccoli grows up, beets grow down. Green beans wind around and around. Okra grows up, onions grow down. Tomatoes twine around and around. Look at those tomatoes all over the scarecrow. Fresh and tasty, get a bunch. Pick some, pull some. Let's have lunch. Oh my gosh, look at all that yummy stuff. And that's the end. So four books about gardening. I will do another, there's going to be another video. Um, we're going to do, it's kind of a craft, kind of an activity about gardening. So I hope that you watch that one and we'll have some instructions in there. And I hope you're excited to plant a garden, whether it's vegetables or flowers. It's so fun to watch things grow. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.